Good evening. Thank you all so much for coming this evening. I, it's, it's an enormous pleasure to welcome you to the Cities for Tomorrow conference, particularly on in a particularly auspicious evening. We not only had a torrential downpour earlier today, proving that, um, that someone up in the heavens might feel strongly about what's going on in Cleveland tonight, but of course it is the first evening of the Republican convention, the kickoff to the, uh, the both conventions for the presidential race. And it's a particularly interesting year for it since we have two candidates who are both from New York City, both representing big cities, and um, that's pretty much all they have in common. So it'll be interesting to see th where things go from there. Um, I, I'm Charles Duhigg, I'm the senior editor for Live Journalism here. We have an amazing program lined up for you this evening and tomorrow. Um, of course, this evening we have a fascinating conversation about how television shows are made in New York City. Tomorrow morning we, we kick off with Governor Hickenlooper, um, who might himself be on a stage sometime soon in the presidential race. He's the, the governor and former mayor of Denver and governor of Colorado. We have folks from the entrepreneurial classes, from the development classes, Jeannie Gang, the architect, talking about this conversation of what cities can become. Anyone who's, just out of curiosity, who's been to the, to the Cities for Tomorrow conference before? A number of you. So you all know that the aspiration of this conference is to talk about the power of cities and what our dreams can be for how cities can become even better. The New York Times, um, I can proudly say, is not partisan in many ways, except for the belief that cities matter. I think we are a deeply urban paper, and we reflect that, as do probably many of you in the choices you make. And this belief that cities are important and that the solutions that are happening in these laboratories across the country are worth discussing and sharing with leaders like yourselves in the hopes that not only do they get better, but that they're shared across the world. Let me mention just a couple of things um, that we would love to invite you. The goal of this conference is really to develop a conversation with you rather than just having you passively listen. And to that end, every panel will have an opportunity for you to ask questions. I would love to encourage everyone to ask questions, to challenge the people who are on stage, to challenge me and the other moderators to tell us that you think we're idiots. We would love to hear it. Um, to that end, if you have a question, particularly if you want to call me an idiot and you don't want to, and you want to do it anonymously, please feel free to send your questions to q at nytimes.com. So if you don't want to stand up, if you email it to q at nytimes.com, we'll imagine when you're looking at your smartphone that that's all that you're doing and not checking your email, and we will ask those questions anonymously from the audience. In addition, I want to let you know that there's going to be a special section tied to this conference that's appearing in the New York Times on Thursday talking about your conversations, what happens on the stage, what, we are, what we're learning about how cities can become better. And in addition, through other conference, you'll notice on these screens these beautiful New York Times images. Um, these are photos taken by New York Times staff and curated by New York Times editors to give you a glimpse into how we see, how we think about cities through a, a view frame. I wanted to thank our sponsors for this evening. It's because of sponsors that we're able to put on events like this. Um, AARP, our supporting sponsors are AARP, the Aetna Foundation, BASF. Our Resilient City sponsor is the Rockefeller Foundation. And our presenting sponsor, who's been enormously generous with us, is Hitachi. And it's because of those that we're able to have this event. <laughs> And with that, let me go ahead and introduce our panel for this evening. This is actually the conversation that I was most looking forward to hearing. I'm sure tomorrow will be great too, particularly for anyone who's going to be on stage tomorrow. But let me, let me welcome to the stage Genia Belafonte, who is the big city columnist for the New York Times, and her guests, Eric Sloven, who's the executive producer of Broad City, Cynthia Nixon, Cynthia Nixon, who was formerly on Sex and the City, and in fact, I just learned, just got filming, performing as Nancy Reagan for something that will appear on the National Geographic channel in October, and Jill Kargman, who is the star of Odd Mom Out, which is on Bravo right now. Please help me welcome them. 